Got a Whirlpool top loader, not filling up all the way, even though it's in super plus load or large load, it's all the way maxed out. You can hear the switch click when you let go, that means it's it's going to turn on. If I turn it on, it's going to go to wash mode. I can reset it, but as you can see, it's just not quite filled up all the way. This happens about two inches, three inches from the top. This happens as the switches get worn out, you know, about ten plus years. What we're going to do is we're going to make an adjustment to that switch. It has a, a screw on there you can adjust. Gonna turn the machine off. You should unplug it on the very back corner here. You see there's a screw hole here and one on the other side. Simply loosen those screws up on each side. And then what you can do, once they're loose, you'll be able to slide this. Slide this unit out. You can see this will hinge right open. The panel's open. Uh, you don't want to disconnect this tube. If you do, the air will get down in the cup on the side and then the, the pressure will never make it up here. You'll have to empty the water out and restart your uh, setting. Or you can fill the air with tube, pinch it, and then plug it back in if you want to make it something like that. Um, what we want to do is we're going to pull the knob off real quick. Take the knob off. Okay, there's a little lock lever right there. Right there. You know, push it in and you'll be able to turn it. Again, leave the hose hooked up. Leave the wires hooked up and everything. You can see we'll hook the knob back up here. Okay, as I turn it, you can hear it unclick. That means it's going into wash mode. Okay, it means it's full of water. What we're going to do, you can take this knob off right here. See this little screw right here? We're going to put about a quarter turn on that and make an adjustment. Sometimes it has a little bit of glue on it, just break the glue off. We'll put some hot glue on after. If you don't have something small, some cutters, the screw is very small, some cutters will help you out. Again, I recommend quarter, quarter turn adjustments so you don't have to start over refill the whole process again. I'm resetting the switch. I'm going to turn it back on. Have it fill a little bit more and it'll turn off when it reaches that setting. If you see the water is getting higher and higher each time, I recommend the quarter screw adjustments just so you don't overflow again. Again, don't disconnect the water or the uh, air hose there. See, now we're only about almost to the top. I'm going to go a little bit higher, like a little extra water, get better flow in there. I'll make one more adjustment. Turn the machine back on. Get back into the switch area and the screw right there. Again, after you make your screw adjustment clockwise to go higher at the water, I'm going to reset the switch. And that's basically hitting the reset there when I turn the knob all the way around. And I'm going to fill. And it should kick off. Keep repeating the procedure until you get the water level you want. I like to get right up to about the dots on the, uh, on the bowl there. Again, it's going to be a little different when you got clothes in there, so I'm going to have to retest it again. Make sure. But usually only about a quarter turn or half a turn on that screw after a few years of wear on the spring tension. Okay, so once it's good, if I close it, it should start to wash. Okay, what I'm going to do to actually test it again is I'm going to spin a little bit of water out. Water's coming out. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to reset my switch. Got the one click, and I'm actually going to go back and fill it. So I went below the water level, reset it. Now it should rise to that water level. And go into wash mode. The water's right about there. Should go off in a second. Okay, if I close the lid, just start washing. Again, once you're all done, you want to lock that screw back in place so don't turn. I'm just going to take a, a hot glue gun here and put a little glue in the, in the spot there. Just the way the factory had it. And that'll stop the screw from turning. That's all you got to do. Again, remember this procedure is only good for a fully operating switch if it's failed doing anything other than just not filling up enough. And you gotta use, uh, there's some other procedures on the uh, YouTube you could look up for that. Okay, to mount your switch back up, pull the knob off. Let's see, you get that part right in the hole. A little hard with a camera here. And I'm gonna rotate that right there till it locks. Close it. 
close up. You got these little tabs. Those will go down into the grooves there. And basically when you put those two screws in the back, it won't allow that to slide forward and unlock. And I can put my knob back on. Okay. Got a reset. It's good. Set my height already. I'm going to take a little water out. Set my switch. Okay, the final test. Okay. Gonna reset. Gonna reset. It's filling back up. Should hit my water level. My desired water level. Alright, that's it. Hope you found it useful. Good luck. This time I'll run a full test with clothes in it, uh, reset, and we'll get it on extra small just to make sure it turns off at low levels, and I'll bump it up a couple times to make sure it keeps rising. Right now i got about a half a load of clothes in, so I'm filling it up right now. As you can see right there, it cut off on its own on the extra small load, and that's the height you're going to get on that. What I can do now is I can hit the reset. Hit the reset, it'll continue to fill. I'm gonna put it on medium now, and you're gonna see the level will come up a little higher. And you can go to whatever you want, but as you get, as you keep resetting and the water fills up, the switch is gonna get more and more to the right. And you can keep testing it there to see how it's operating the way you like. As you see, how, now we're up to a small size load. This whole time we're getting more water, more water. Be a small medium load coming up here. Now we're above small. I'm just going to reset, go for a medium. Alright, there's our medium selected. Jumped ahead a little bit. See the water level is above half right now. Pretty good medium size load in there right now. And it should kick on any second. And it should start washing now. There it goes. No small adjustments working so far. I'm going to bump it up again, go for a super size large. Okay, the water level is almost to the top. See right above it. About an inch down from the top, I think a little higher than normal. Get a little extra better rinse than that. And then should go off any side and we'll shut it. Should automatically kick in and start up on its own. Just one thing while we're waiting, uh, you know, before you start filling it up and everything, make sure your uh, the air hose sometimes they get pinched or that. You can just disconnect it from the switch and uh, blow air into it and make sure it's clear down there. Uh, just don't do that while you're actually filling because you'll get the air out of the, out of the cup down below. But you can see it started up just fine. We got the water level that we want. And that was with some clothes in it so you can see it's just a little bit different than when we adjusted it. <laughs>